everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I want to talk to you about moving your calculated metrics from Adobe Analytics to Customer Journey Analytics. So if you are shifting from Adobe Analytics over to Customer Journey Analytics, or if you're just adding Customer Journey Analytics, you might want to have your calculated metrics that you are used to from Adobe Analytics also available to you in Customer Journey Analytics. Now, the reason why we have to have this conversation about moving our calculated metrics over is because they don't come through with the analytics connector into platform and then into customer journey analytics. And really the biggest reason is, I suppose, that it is not a big enough scope, right? Analytics data is really just one possible data type that you're bringing into the platform and into customer journey analytics. We need to think about our calculated metrics, not only for our analytics data, but really for all of our data types that we're going to use in customer journey analytics. Now, the good news is, just like Analysis Workspace is basically the same between Adobe Analytics and Customer Journey Analytics, the calculated metric builder is basically the same in both places as well. And it's going to be really easy for you to move a calculated metric from Adobe Analytics to Customer Journey Analytics. Now here we are in the calculated metric builder in Adobe Analytics, and I've got this AOV, this average order value calculated metric in here. So it's currency and it's two decimal places and up is good. We like more money per order. And so down here, of course, we've dragged over revenue and orders, right, down here, revenue orders divided by, and that is our average order value. So if we have that, and again, this is on analytics data, we can easily rebuild that in Customer Journey Analytics. So now I'm gonna jump up here, and we will go over to Customer Journey Analytics, and just like you are used to, we just click this plus by metrics, and we are in the calculated metric builder, but this time for Customer Journey Analytics. So in this case, you're going to have additional dimensions, additional metrics. We're going to have filters, which are the same as segments, and we still have functions. So everything in here is the same, filters being the new name here for segments in Customer Journey Analytics. But as far as the metrics and the dimensions, you're going to have more of them in here available to you because, again, they're coming not only from analytics but also from other data sets. But we can just build that right out again and say AOV, average order value, and we set it just like before on currency, two decimal places, up is good, and we can add tags if we want, and then we just drag it in there, right? So once again, revenue, and we bring that in, and we can bring in orders. In fact, it's showing up right down there, and I'll drag that in. Make sure that is on the divided by, and we are good to go. Now we can save that, and now it is available for us to drag in, and we'll just put it right here in this table, and we'll get rid of the goofy percentage, which we don't need. And now we have the average order value for these different data sources because revenue and orders happen not only in analytics data, but also in point of sale data and also in call center data. So once again, it really is the same. Let me go back in here. And the only thing that's going to be a little bit different is understanding the dimensions that you have. You may even want to go over to the platform and look at your schema and kind of see the different schemas that you're using in your customer journey analytics data so that you can understand the dimensions that will be available to you and the metrics that will be available to you. But other than that, it's really just the same. As you can see down in the definition, you can still drag and drop metrics and dimensions, and it even still says segments right there, but it means filters in customer journey analytics or functions as well. So any of those more advanced calculated metrics that you have in Adobe Analytics, you can rebuild those right here in Customer Journey Analytics as well and use them to get the data that you need to do your analysis. Good luck.